Hi, my name's Kelly. Welcome to part three of my classroom setup. I'm a first grade teacher in a Catholic school. Thanks for watching along with me. One of the projects that I've been happy to tackle today in this video are securing up the little people on my windows. The reason I put those people up there is because my windows aren't completely transparent, but they've become a little dingy over the years. The tiles of windows that are on the top portion of the windows are this glass textured tile. It doesn't look as clean today as it did many years ago, I'm sure. I created these little silhouette people last year and they just kept falling off the windows. The paper would peel back a little bit. It just didn't look like a clean look that I would hope it would look like. So today I finally got the hot glue out, made globs of hot glue to stick up onto those tiles. I love the way it's turned out. In the future, I'm going to be redoing the sayings that are up there. I've got a prayer and a Bible verse. I have to redo those on the Cricut and put it up there because letters have fallen and I don't know where they are now. But I'm happy with what I accomplished today with it. Another project for today is switching around some of the colors in my room and rehanging ones that have fallen. Um, I'm gonna start by switching out the red and orange colors because of baskets that I have for their supplies because each table of students is assigned a color and so I have an orange basket but I don't have a red basket. So I need to switch those two colors first. I actually made these colors. Well, I didn't make the actual colors. Let me be clear. I did not create colors, but I made these circles that have the colors on them um, because I just love this idea that the colors signify or mark the different regions of my room. I found this to be a very functional way to display useful information for my students. So if you are interested in these color displays, you can check out the link in my description and find them on my Teachers Pay Teachers. So yeah, I feel very productive doing this task today because it's been hanging over my head for a while. I'm sure you have tasks like that too. Okay, I'm not gonna vlog me taking all of this down. All of this construction paper hot glued to the wall was left. I've already started to take it down over here. Those pieces will not come off. Um, but it is a pain to take down and a very tedious and boring job. So I'm blaring Taylor Swift and scraping this off. It's kind of chipping the paint at points, but I'd rather chipped paint than keep this black construction paper up there any longer. So right now I am working on a project for our primary hallway. In this hallway every few years the teachers up here transform it to be a different look. Last year it was a just a grassy bottom half and it was a sky in the top half with book characters on there. So Elephant and Piggy and the Pigeon were up. Junie B. Jones and Annie and Jack from Magic Treehouse, uh, Thing 1 and Thing 2 from Dr. Seuss, or The Cat in the Hat, and Curious George. They were just different book characters on this scene on the wall. Well, this year we are making it turn into a little village of shops, so kind of like a small town feel. The bottom's gonna be white brick and the top is gonna be all different colors. So right now, I'm making the windows that will be peaks into those shops. I'm not going to tell you what the shops are right now, but as you see the clips of what I'm working on, I want you to guess what the shops are and then you'll see the end product once it's all up in the hallway. I'm very excited for it. I think it's going to look adorable and I can't wait to bring you along on this journey of creating it. That's it. I want it to be a surprise once it's all finished because it's gonna look super, super cute. We have a slight issue. I just got back from mass and the curtain that I hung earlier today is falling. Let me show you. I think it might just be cursed. I don't know how else to get this to stay. Any recommendations for getting that curtain to stay would be greatly appreciated. I tried command hooks and multiple of them. I've tried now Velcro command strips. That didn't work. I tried taking the ceiling tile, like pushing the ceiling tiles up to drape a pipe cleaner through it so then the curtain rod could hang through, hang on the pipe cleaner loop like from the ceiling, but the ceiling tiles don't go up all the way for me to be able to do that. Kind of at a loss of what to do. 
if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Now that I've really been working in my classroom on organizing, redoing displays, cleaning things up from previous years, my classroom is trashed. So let's clean it up, tidy it up, so then it looks really nice for next time that I come in. Enjoy the sounds of cleaning up a classroom. tackling this library, I have the piles of books organized by books that they're similar to, and I think I'm going to do these six black containers for smaller categories of books, and then I'll still for now have some of the books just general in the white baskets, the big baskets. So I'm going to get started putting books in the book bin. better now than it did. I also went to Once Upon a Child yesterday to get some more leveled readers and more decodable type text and so I'm gonna sort those out by how simple to how advanced they are. That's what I'm gonna do now. These are sorted good enough to my liking for now. I think the people on the windows, the silhouettes on the windows, are some of the sweetest things in my classroom. I have the saying or the prayer at the beginning say, let our work be a constant prayer because there are so many different things that we can do to talk to God and to communicate with God and I want my students to know that. Throughout the school year when we pray in different ways, I can refer to this window with my students and kind of make the art that's up there meaningful to them. So it starts with that phrase, let our work be a constant prayer, and then it has all the people, and then it ends with the Bible verse from Matthew that says, let the children come to me. Because God wants all of his children to come to him, whether young or old. And so this window just kind of represents the many languages or the hundred languages in the world of the Reggio Emilia philosophy of education. So this window just has the many languages of children and how they can communicate. And I just think, I think that's wonderful. It starts on the left-hand side of my room with very calm activities. And then it works its way up to a child with her hands in the air. And I just imagine she's got one of the biggest smiles on her face. Um, kind of like as a sign of I've made it. I, I'm with you, God. But it starts with a little boy praying the rosary, 
Then it has two children reading. It has a little kid holding a flower showing that we can find God and talk with God in nature. It has a little girl writing on a piece of paper. It has a boy painting on an easel. A girl playing guitar, a boy singing, a girl dancing, two boys running with a balloon, and then the girl at the end with her hands up just rejoicing that she's found the Lord and that she knows the Lord. And I just, I love this window. It's, it's one of my favorite parts of my classroom and I just hope it stays up this year. <laughs> Um, I'm sure I'm going to get questions of how I made it or where I found it, and I did make it. I found the silhouettes um, just from Google search. I would type in girl dancing or girl writing or boys running, and I had my iPad and my Apple Pencil, and I traced it, and then I like color dropped in black and got it printed at the library. They have um, like poster size printing for reasonable prices. And then with the pops of color that are on the people, um, I just used like scrapbooking cardstock um, or it was just regular cardstock, I don't remember at this point, and made the little props or just different things that could be a pop of color for each of the silhouettes. I think it's so sweet and I love it and my students love it too. So I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks again for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe so my videos pop up for you. I'll post part four in a few days whenever I get in the classroom more and get more things done that I think would be entertaining for you to watch. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time.